Hello everybody and welcome. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the document manager. To open up the document manager, you'll need to head over here to documents and reports and you'll find it on the leftmost side. You can of course go to the shortcut, which is control L and inside a drawing control O, open up the document manager. Over here, we've got all documents, different states of documents, as well as some other categories, stuff like single parts or assembly parts. We also have our issue status, whether they're ready, frozen, locked, if there's any changes, the marks, revisions and such. Now these over here can be moved around to where you'd like them to be. You can also right click on any of these categories and hide it and it'll no longer show. If you wish to bring one that is hidden, right click and go find it in this list. It'll remember the last place it was. For most of them that have never been shown, it usually ends up being right at the end. Now, I don't think I need to know who it's drawn by. For purpose of multiple people working within the same model, you'll sometimes get drawings assigned to you or you'll wish to assign drawings to others. For that, this assigned to category is quite useful. This can easily be done by right clicking on any of the drawings going into the properties underneath user defined attributes, workflow, and adding it to the assigned to field. The nice thing about the new document manager is this can also be done. If you click on that, it'll go blue and you can go to any category, click on it, fill in the information you'd like. Of course, this is not just for the assigned to field. Titles can be done, name can be done, uh, ready can be issue, turned on and off issue cannot be changed and it'll show you which ones can or cannot be modified in this way. Let's turn that off for now. In order to make your workflow much easier, being able to control what drawings you see is quite valuable. For example, you can see only single parts or only assemblies. If you hold down control, you can select both of these categories at the same time and it'll show you both singles and assemblies. You could also select as many as you would like. Let's add issued drawings to this mix. Let's go to single, right click and edit. This gives me the search string. And this will say it wants single part drawings. Down here, we can go and show more. Now we find the group and this is just which one of these groups it's in. As you can see by the number, minus 500, it's quite low down. The lower the number, the higher it'll be on the list, the higher the number, the lower it'll be on the list. Next is the sort index and the lowest index number goes at the top and as it gets higher, it goes lower down. Now, you do not need to add a sort index. You can have them all at zero, all the same. They will be sorted alphabetically. But if you need a certain category to be higher up in the list, regardless of where it falls alphabetically, you can add a sort index. I'd actually like single parts to be below assemblies. So I'm just going to say, make this three. And it drops it down one. And now it's below assembly. The next is the combination operator. When you select multiple categories using control, that combination operator takes effect. Assembly drawings have the combination operator or. I can select this or something else. If I take assembly and single, it'll show me assembly drawings or it'll show me single part drawings. Therefore, both of them are in this list. But something like issue drawings uses the and operator. And that means it needs to have issued. If I say assembly drawings and I click on issued drawings, it'll show all assembly drawings that has issued drawing turned on. If I take both assembly and single, it'll show either assembly or single. It doesn't really care, but it has to have issued turned on. Most of these have the and function. I've got my own custom category up top here. That is for drawings assigned to me. Doesn't matter what else is on it, but it has to be me and another parameter. I'm using the AND function for this. I've also gone group minus 600, index 0, 
to get it right at the top. Next, you've got the association type. Search, manual, search and manual. Manual is basically manually adding items to a group. So if I go and say single drawings, I can grab these and I can create a manual category. And it'll add those three drawings to this category. As soon as I delete one of those drawings or I recreate it, it drops out of this category and I'll have to manually re-add it. Also anything else that I would like to put in that category, I need to go either add to that or add to new. This can be useful if you've got no other defining feature of those drawings, but usually it is better to get an automatic search set up. So let's get to the good stuff. How to set up your own categories. If you head anywhere to the left side panel and right click, you can say new. A new search function will then be made. First thing we need is a name. In this case, I think I'd like to create a search category and that is to look at all drawings that have not been issued. And this will be a convenient way of filtering them out. So we're going to call this not yet issued. As for the search string, I actually have no idea what the search string would be. I'd have to go look at what the current issued drawings is. But unfortunately, I need to put something in. So let's make this G. That's just so that I can save it. If I go to issued drawings and I right click on that and say edit, I can have a look at what current settings I need to deal with. Firstly, there's an entire search string over here. I'm going to copy this because it's already set up to look for issued drawings. Next, group is minus 400, sort index is 404. Let's go and edit this not yet issued. Group is going to be minus 400. And because the sort index for issued is 404, I'm going to say 403 in search string. I'm going to paste the search string that I just copied from issued. Next, I'm going to say test. As you can see, there's all of those drawings there. In here, it says it's looking for a drawing and the issue status has to be issued or issued but modified. I'm going to take the issued but modified out. If I say test again, you'll see that the issued and modified drawings now disappear. So it has to be only issued. Next, I'm going to say not. Remember, spelling is very, very important when doing this. It's going to be a capital N and O T. So not issued. Test. Now I'll show all drawings that have not yet been issued. Luckily, I know what this one is, but usually this takes a bit of fiddling around, maybe some guesswork. The best way to find out how they work is go through these one by one and read the search string. For example, the frozen drawings. This will say frozen or is frozen equals true. And this is quite an easy one to work with. 400, 401. So if we create a new one, we call this not yet frozen or maybe unfrozen. I'm going to say minus 400 minus 401, paste the search string in. And the only change we are going to make is change this from true into false. Test this. All drawings should show up. That looks good. And now the good way to test this is grab a few drawings. I'm going to freeze them. Now, if I click off of it and onto frozen drawings, only those drawings show up. If I click on not yet frozen, all drawings except for those drawings will show up. Once you've played around a bit and you've set up your document manager to be the way you like it to be, you'd probably like to keep it that way for your next project. And that's where it, copying it over to the firm folder becomes important. I've got my open project folder up here. Most likely you'll need to head down to this one over here. Once you've opened up your folder, I've got document manager, document categories, grid settings, document manager itself. You do not need to worry about that is mostly the position, whether it's been maximized or not and on what screen you don't really want it to be brought over to your firm folder as that might be bothering somebody else. The next thing you'll need to do is rename them. This is specifically for you, but if you want this to work for everyone else, you will need to remove your user designation from it. The underscore plus the username. 
This one over here will get me my categories. So the custom fort at the top and not yet issued, they'll all be in here. Next, the grid settings is the positions of which grid goes where. Where I moved my issue category to be right at the start instead of in the middle somewhere or at the end where Tekla had it by default. We are going to take these two files, categories and data grid. Right click and say copy. And then we're going to head over to our firm folder. Mine is inside of my C drive underneath Tekla template and I'm going to paste it right here. It doesn't need to go underneath any specific folder. If I head over here and say new, these will be the slow tips and we create them. Now that we've got our new model open, let's go to the document manager and you'll see that all of our custom settings are here. And once we open up drawing list, you'll see that this list is exactly as we designed it to be. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you all next time.